some vector addition. So let's consider a vector A and vector A, let's say, is 3 Newton. And let's say vector B is also 3 Newton. And don't forget to put, uh, uh, make it a vector. So one thing you know that A plus B is not equal to 6 because this is not a scalar addition. So here's how we're going to do it. Uh, and the other instructor, of course, I'm going to show you a better al algorithm. I'm going to first do a head and tail. The head of A and the tail of B. If this is 30, this must be 150. So what are you going to do? C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine 150. So c squared is a squared is 3 squared plus 3 squared minus 2, 3, 3, and cosine 150. Cosine 150 is 0.87. So 0.87. Of course, this is negative 0.87, making it positive. So c is, of course, 5.8 Newton. So this is not 6, but this is 5.8. So let's see an alternative way to add these two vectors. First order of business is to translate this uh, 3 Newton vector, uh, which is at a 30 degree angle, and decompose it into its horizontal and vertical components. So the vertical component is just going to be half of the hypotenuse because it's opposite the 30 degree angle. And the horizontal component is going to be the same as the vertical, but with a root 3 factor. And now we can just add up the horizontal component. So this is the total horizontal component. So in the x direction, uh, we have a total amount of 3 plus uh, 3 root 3 over 2. And in the y direction, we just have this 3 halves. So the resultant is going to be this vector right here and its magnitude is going to be x squared, so 3 plus 3 root 3 over 2 squared plus 3 halves squared. And that gives you about 5.8. Now, in the comment box below, you're going to tell us which method is easier and which method is faster.